about the council culture is because you know we're getting very far you know in the future you know and everybody wants to learn from mistakes and try to make it make everything right and so you know when you want to make everything right sometimes you take it to extremes you know so that's that's what happened you know it's this is the time where you want to make everything the best you know such as you know complications with pregnancy have artificial wombs no more complications with pregnancy you know no more birth defects safer cars autonomous vehicles you know faster delivery um using robots so this is the 20s 2020 and beyond it's it's a time of you know everybody want to make everything perfect or everything the best it can be so try to avoid all neg- negative all negativity but i mean maybe it will come down maybe as we go further in the future maybe people will just kind of let up with the cancel culture and you know just maybe revert back you know uh to not cancel everything you know and try to see differences in points you know and and uh but um we'll see you know i mean i know the the ice cream jingle is um the song is like racist you know, the jingle so far the can- the ice cream you know um jingle has not been cancelled so but who's to say that cancel culture is coming for that you know the whole cartoons are an all racism from Popeye to anything prior to the 70 cartoons have racism you know Scooby Doo I don't think there's none but prior to that you know Popeye Tom and Jerry and Warner Brothers Universal Studios all the great <laughs> studios had some form of their cartoons and movies had racism in it you know it's, it's sad I couldn't believe Popeye I never saw that episode with the with the racism luckily I did see the the Tom and Jerry with the Mammy Two Shoes they actually showed that like on the Saturday morning cartoons believe it or not um and I never saw the old uh, Bugs Bunny you know where they did the the racist uh, stuff and Bugs Bunny looked different too, a little different. And and also the Disney, um, old cartoons. I didn't. I didn't uh, see them. You know the really old ones like the forties and the fifties and. Uh, but you know, um, the cartoons. You know, learn from their stake, and um, they didn't revert to that. But actually, they actually kept some, some of the more racist. They put the the stereotype and prejudice, but some aspects still Disney, uh, in the eighties and nineties uh, still had some of that, but it just definitely wasn't as bad as it was in the forties, thirties, and forties, and yeah, fifties. Um, but uh, but Scooby Doo, I never saw it. There was no racism in Scooby Doo Dot. No presence from it. It's just about just trying to find the, you know, trying to find the mystery. Um, but not to say that the seventies, the movies did have those black, black expectations. The Grindhouse, you know, they said the like N word like all the time, you know. And so there was still racism, in the movies, you know. But um. But, but there has been some aspects, you know, 
uh, like some some films are, you know, uh, are still out there, you know, doing some wild stuff, uh, like the '80s and '90s films, uh, you know, um, like the new Barat and. They got the more new more combat movie rated R, you know. So some, so they're kind of trying to bring. Like the eighties had really. Graphic, movies, violent movies, you know, Terminator, Predator, Alien, and, you know. So. You know, they they have the more combat rated R. I think the earlier versions were PG thirteen, so. We're trying to bring some some stuff back, you know, to uh, to the way it was. Um, so whether um, some small industries like some movies I've seen had some risque content, like the Satanic Panic, uh, uh, like uh, you know, crew jokes. They still got so it's you know, we still have the crew jokes and crude humor. Um, but I guess if you just see it like in the public, you know, they'll, they'll have in the movies, you know, you see in the public, like, um, that's where people flipping out. You know, we had the satanic panic in the 80s. I remember it was like over controversial album covers from bands that are not even satanic or black metal, like the Motley Crue cover with the pentagram and, and like the devil tongue with poison album um, you know and people were flipping out over that and uh, and uh, so music you know but the movies are always the mo- movies are okay but the music you know people flip out for that but um you know I don't know maybe um you know, we'll, we'll stop the cancel culture eventually. People say, hey, you know, look. Things are the way it is, you know. We can't just cancel everything. There's just, there's, I mean, we have to cancel everything. That'll be like, not to say we haven't canceled a lot. I mean, I removed Dencha and I removed Uncle Ben. We, <laughs> I think we renamed the, there's no more Washington Redskins. Change the logo, change the mascot. <laughs> I mean, Shoot, if you had to cancel, like, all the movies. I mean, jeez Louise. Um, you know, it's... But I, I think, you know, music videos are always going to... Whether it's movies or music, they're they're gonna have they're gonna push boundaries, but as long as it's not public, you know. I mean, you you're not gonna cancel a recent movie, you know what I mean? I mean the movie's already out, the movie's already made. What can you do? I mean, you know, if it's, as long as it's recent, I guess. Because I mean, you don't help me at all. I have to do my daily day myself. So fuck, no life. You know. And see if I get a food, eh? Because I give you the $50 to get all this food. Two hours ago, what happened? I mean, that's, that's all I can think of. So, you know, maybe the council culture were let up. But who knows? I'm trying to think. If it would let up, how, how would it let up, you know? Because we're in the state of mind well the people are in the state of mind of the counseling they <laughs> counsel everything offensive counsel everything 
<laughs> you know. But like I said, you know, there's been recent uh, music videos and some movies that um that are um you know still provocative, you know. Um. So I guess, like I said, as long as it's not in public, you know. I mean. Or as long as it's not recent. Like they want to cancel Eminem, but Tom McDonald has himself in the video crucify, right? So nobody's saying anything about that. I think the cancel culture is probably. Well, I wouldn't say they're they're coming after old stuff, but it seems like it is. It seems like the stuff that's pretty recent, either they don't know about it. Sorry, I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll see if Tom McDonald, you know, maybe gets counseled too from, from his controversial stuff, you know. But, the, but I guess the positive side is that people, we're in a time where people are not afraid to tell it like it is. And, and people stand up for that, you know. When I was like that, it's like, back in the days, you know, it's like, well, people didn't want to hear that. But now, if you separate yourself from the norm, well, people like that, you know. People like when you're just bold and brash. Back then, people didn't like when you were bold and brash. So we made progress. But if we made progress, oops. Sometimes we go backwards, you know. So, I mean, I'm thinking probably many years from now, probably be a council culture museum. I'm serious. That'd be like, this is the original logo for Aunt Jemima. And, you know, let's change this. You know? I mean, like, what, 2050? Probably look back. Council culture museum or something, right? These are all things where council... But, uh, <clears throat> I guess the only thing you can cancel is science and technology. That's always going to progress. There might be delays, but that's always will progress and progress and progress and progress. And you can't stop that, you know. You can't stop medical advancements and technology. You can't stop artificial wombs. You might have delay, but but you just can't stop it. You know what I mean? It's like you know, you just can't stop gene editing. Eventually, you you just might cancel some stuff, but you just can't cancel technology and science. So you know, it is what it is. I mean, you can protest, but what good has protest done? I mean, look at the, look at the protest for the. Well, come to think about it, maybe the protest for universal basic income did something. Well, it just I took maybe two years to make people aware. I guess protests do some stuff. Just not immediately, you know what I mean? Just not immediately. But then again, we have the abortion protest. I mean, we seem like to go nowhere with that, though. <laughs> but when you get the artificial wounds, I think... You know. Here's the technology. Here it is. You know. Have a perfect baby. You have baby with no birth defects. So you're going to have positive and negative, you know. You're just not going to have all negative. All positive. You can, I mean, it's something for everybody. You know, you want it. You do it. Or if you want to do it the normal way, have a baby, you can do it that way. I think that's what the cho the, the choice of the future is going to be. Uh, it's going to be choices, you know. You, you want to have transhuman technologies? Go for it. You don't want to have it? Don't do it. You know, same artificial wounds. You want to do it? Cool. You don't want to do it? Don't do it. 
I'm wondering, probably, obviously, the the new technologies will have the higher price, you know. Except for the robo-taxis, it seems like, I guess because they're, you, you have to be brave, I guess, and that's why the price is lower, maybe, I guess. Or it's probably that they can always constantly drive, you know, and save a lot of money for the company. For, for you know, because cab drivers, whether they're drunk, Violent, lazy, turnover. No, the robot taxi is always there for you. So I'm. So, even though we live in a cancel culture society, the flip side to that is just you know, we're making we're making things better, we're making things safer, you know. We'll lower the the car crashes with the tall vehicles. We'll lower the murder rate, the rape, in in taxis, the killing. You know, it's just you, your friend, and the AI. You know. And the AI, and as the AI gets more advanced, it can be conversational. They actually work on conversational AI. So. And after that, eventually, human-like AI. And after that, so forth and so forth and. Uh, so your AI is going to be your like your God. Your AI is going to be your friend. Your AI is going to always be with you. It's going to help you, help you in your job, it's going to help you in your in the medicine industry. I mean, so you know. So, the twenty twenties is is a time to. Make things, it's a time of 5G, you know, it's a time to make these autonomous vehicles drive themselves and robots work themselves and, you know, you can work from home across the world doing sur- medical surgeries. I mean, it's so transformational. Smart cities. I mean, it took a decade from 4G to 5G, but here we are, right? Nobody would have thought 5G is just like completely total different brain changer. 4G, you can do nothing with, you know, you couldn't have autonomous vehicles with 4G. You couldn't have, you know, you couldn't work, do surgery from other countries at your home. You can, you can do none of that. You can have robots do, go autonomously. It's so crazy. It's like the 5G is, people don't realize it's like, totally transformational and then I guess 6G is even you know I guess 5, 5G is the pinnacle and then 6G is just, is just more powerful more faster speeds and then 7G is more faster so we're living in a time where it's like you feel like it's the last industrial revolution on earth I mean because what how was it was what was it uh, the horse the buggy the car and now cars that drive themselves, what's the next step? Flying cars? We actually have flying cars, I will be able. Coming twenty twenty three. So I mean what's what's next? You get cars to drive themselves. I mean, cars that fly. There's nothing else left. Robots to to work at times. This is like the last industrial revolution on Earth. The the next industrial revolution will be in space. I guess you have robots building space factories and Working on spaceships and mining, and because they already got the space tourism going, and uh, so yeah, this is the most transformative pinnacle time ever. So, people who are young, living in this time, very lucky, very lucky. Um, That's it.